For the plural pronoun, that is 
doesn't have any subject or verb form but it gives a meaning that we have done uh, done in our textbook isn't it take page number 8 write in the blanks what the following phrases mean choose your answers from the list given below that exercise exercise but in your test they they won't give you options they will give you will get only the phrase for example the black market you have to write the meaning of the given phrase next white elephant you have to write the meaning of the given phrase red tape white paper a bolt from the blue already we have learned right green corn the meaning is someone who is inexperienced green corn what is the meaning of this phrase someone who is inexperienced and next a bolt from the blue a bolt from the blue the answer for this the meaning of this phrase and unexpected happening and the next in black and white thanks for this recorded in writing this is how you have to write you will get only the phrases you have to write the meaning of the given phrases is it clear my dear children clearly you will get three questions in that each card is one mark so overall you will get three marks and next come up with sentences by using so that this also we have learned right just we will recall okay just have this note so plus adjective or adverb plus that keep this in your mind so plus adjective or adverb plus that in this exercise they will given you two sentences what you have to do you have to combine the given two sentences by using the word so that is it clear where do you where do you write so before the adjective or adverb what is meant by adjective it describes the noun for example the girl the girl looks beautiful here beautiful is a adjective similarly adverb adverb describes the verb is it clear my dear children and after the adjective before adjective you have to add so after the adjective you have to write that and next the sentence you have to combine what you have to do before the full stop and the meaning of the first letter they have given in the capital letter because it is the starting of the second sentence isn't it here you are combining so no need to write in capital letter you have to write in small letter okay we will see this example already we have seen all this example but any anyway, all we will recall again i was busy full stop first sentence listen carefully my children i was busy Full stop. I could not attend the meeting. Second sentence. So how many sentences are there? Two sentences. Here you have to combine these two sentences by adding so that. Where will you add so? I told you before the adjective. That is your busy. What is the adjective here? Busy. So what is the answer? I was so busy. Next. We have full stop, right? Remove that full stop. After adjective, you have to write that. Yes, I was so busy that. And the next, I could not attend the meeting. That is, I given in the capital letter. What do you have to do? Will you write in small letter? No, you should not make this mistake. Keep in your mind. Always wherever you are writing I, either at the beginning of the sentence. in between the sentence or at the last okay wherever you are writing you have to write in capital letter only this pronoun i is it clear my dear children rest of the thing for example the here you have to rewrite as small letter t instead of capital letter you have to change it as small letter t and another example he okay you have to change it as small letter h here we have since we have i we no need to change that in capital in small letter it is a blender mistake so don't do that write as capital letter i couldn't attend the meeting or i could not attend the meeting is it clear my dear children okay you will get three questions each carries one mark so overall three marks up to this any doubt first you will get
reading comprehension. Okay, the passage is given to you. Based on the passage, questions asked. You have to read the passage one or twice or twice until you understand. And then answer the questions asked below. Each card is one or mark. So overall three marks. And then read out the passage in the present tense. Okay, the passage is given to you. You have to identify the verb and you have to read out those verbs in yes present tense. Already they are given in past tense. Similarly, next exercise. The verbs are given in past tense. You have to read out the present tense. Next phrases. They will give only the phrase. You have to write the meaning of the phrase. They won't give the meaning. Okay. You have to study the meaning of the phrases and you have to write. Is it clear? No need to frame a sentence. Is it clear? No need to frame a sentence. You just write the meaning of the given phrase. That is enough. And next two sentences. They will give you two sentences. You have to combine by using so that. Okay. That will be add so before the adjective and after the adjective you have to add that. Okay. And then you have to combine two sentences. And next picture comprehension. Okay. Uh, you will get one picture based on the picture. Questions asked. Okay. Look at the picture and answer the following questions. Okay. Uh, you will get again three questions. Okay. Each card is half a mark, so one and a half marks. It is simple, very simple. No need to worry. And next section C that is literature. Uh, Roll and three bananas. That is two questions. Each card is half a mark, so overall one mark you will get for synonyms and antonyms. Just we will see one or two synonyms. Hope you have studied very well. If you didn't study, well, go through the back up synonyms as well as uh, in the homework I have given you set of synonyms and antonyms. Just uh, go through it. That is uh, late seems to. What is the meaning of that? Yes, attack. And next harms means weapons. Uh, children, uh, read the words, okay? Read the spelling of the words, write and see. While you are preparing for the English exam, definitely you should, you should have the rough notebook beside you. While you are uh, reading a hard verse, immediately you have to write and see. And similarly, antonyms. Antonyms of rage is calm, grief, joy, cease, release. Okay, any doubt? Okay, next. Fill in the blanks with correct words. That is, fill in the blanks with correct words is nothing but. Uh, do you remember one day we have seen, isn't it? Uh, beside, besides, advice, advice. That exercise, okay? Uh, they will give you two words. Among that, you have to read the sentence. According to the sentence, you have to choose the correct verb form. Correct word. Uh, for example, Mala did not listen to her mother's dash. Yes, advice. What is the spelling? A D V I C E. Next. A dash of trucks was hiding in the woods. True. What is the spelling? T R O O P. Is it clear? Go through that exercise also. And next, answer the following. Answer the following is very well known, isn't it? That is a short answer. No need to worry about your detailed answer. Just anyhow, we go through it. You may get a detailed answer or you may not. Okay, so prepare for that also, but concentrate more on your short answer. That is uh, not poem questions, sir. We concentrate on prose questions. That is a great hero in uh, page number six. They have given you right answer the following questions briefly. Okay, uh, read all the questions. Okay, uh, write and see. It is very simple. Okay, and then answer the following question with reference to context. Okay, where do you have this in poem, isn't it? Okay, take page number 3 that is My hands let first open in thy sight. Similar to that or uh, similar to this you can get a question. So that is, uh, they will give you 3 lines from the poem. You, uh, below that they will ask you questions. Okay, you have to refer that and you have to answer the given question. Is it clear my dear children? Hope you have understood the pattern. According to the pattern you have to work out in a similar way. Uh, in the, in the same, at the same time you have to be smarter. Is it clear? You can go through the pattern according to that. Prepare for the exam and write the exam well. All the best. See you.